which is Exodus 22.18 Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And that's it. That's the whole thing. It doesn't tell you what a witch is or how to kill the witch. I would have thought that stoning would be the way because that's the usual method. But in practice it was mostly burning or hanging. One way to determine if someone was a witch or not is you weigh them down with stones and toss them in a pond. If they floated, then that must be with the aid of the devil, so you've found a witch. If they sank, and usually drowned, they were innocent. And of course, Christians believe that the coming of Jesus relieves them from the need to obey the laws of the Old Testament. But somehow, Exodus 22.18 still applies. We'll never know how many people were murdered by self-righteous mobs. Estimates are between 40,000 and 100,000. And how many of those really were witches? Here at least we can make a very accurate estimate. That would be zero. So what's the problem here? In some parts of the world, people still believe in witchcraft, black magic and the evil eye. Islam, for example, forbids the use of witchcraft and believes that witches make use of jinns. In South Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa, 35% of people believe in witchcraft. In the Middle East, North Africa, Southeast Asia, Southern Eastern Europe and Central Asia, there are similar numbers. The belief in witchcraft is obviously part of the natural condition of human mentality and it's only in the western countries that this is no longer a thing. And even there, only recently, in the 17th century in Salem, 200 people were accused of witchery and 20 murdered. I say murdered rather than executed. The last witch murdered officially in the UK was Janet Horne in 1727. The last witch murdered in Europe was Anna Goldie in 1782. The last person convicted of witchcraft in England was in 1944. Yes, 1944. Helen Duncan was a charlatan medium who made a nuisance of herself by revealing war secrets, such as revealing the sinking of the Barham before it was officially announced. And they didn't want her revealing the secret of D-Day in case she somehow found out about it, which you might do if you were in England at the time and had a pair of eyes and a brain. In the UK, the Witchcraft Act was at last repealed in 1951. Hooray!